We're Tyler and Kayleen. We've been living aboard our 40-year-old sailboat, Footloose. We've been working hard to get the boat and ourselves ready for a trip of a lifetime. We're leaving Canada behind this year, but we're bringing the adventure with us. Join us as we sail, scuba, surf, and skydive our way south. Don't forget to subscribe. We are headed down to Comox. It's moving day. We are getting out of Campbell River for the winter. We have secured a spot in Comox, which is a little bit more protected from those winter southeast winds we experienced last year. And my dad is helping me today because Tyler went off to go um, to the US Open uh, World Surfing Championship. So um, we are out on a very windless day. Hey, we got the sails up as we rounded the Cape here. Was this Cape Lazo? Yeah. Uh, quick, quick little sail, but we see a, a no wind zone up ahead. But at least we can say we went sailing today. The Comox Valley is where I'd grown up many years ago. So it felt like we were headed home. It's always nerve-wracking coming into a new marina and even though the wind was almost non-existent I still got a little bit nervous putting Footloose into her new home for the winter. Okay, we made it here and this is Footloose's new home for the winter while we hide from the storms. Uh, it's a lot more protected here. I'm excited that Footloose won't be slamming against the docks like she did in Campbell River. So, welcome to Comox. It is a super exciting day because I just got something in the mail. Tyler and I have been in a bit of a, a heated debate over this. And that is a new anchor. Uh, the anchor that came with our boat was a Delta. It's a little bit undersized for cruising. It was a great day anchor, but ultimately I just don't trust it um, in heavy winds. And because we went and got a new windlass, new anchor road, the last step of that is a new anchor so went with the mantis m1 and mantis helped us out with this um, but I also worked my butt off this week diving changing zinks to pay for um, the new road and a portion of the anchor as well um, the m1 is is similar to the rockna if you've seen that the big roll bar and it is a digging anchors I really wanted an anchor that could really dig in and reset quickly. Uh, we have had a bit of dragging with the Delta and I'm excited to see what the big 55 pound anchor can do for us. We're gearing Footloose up for a big adventure and it's important to have redundancy on board. And that's no exception when it comes to anchors. The Mantis M1 found its new place on the bow, and the Delta got stored below as a backup anchor. Maybe keep going once the wind is supposed to die later today, but 
Um, for now, it just feels good to get off the dock and I'm excited to drop the hook. I accidentally deleted the footage of setting the anchor, which is super disappointing, but it's not much to see other than it going over the bow roller. Instead, here's some super riveting footage of Brandon and I exploring Henry Bay, which is on the north tip of Denman Island. So last night the wind did a 180 shift about 11 o'clock. It was coming from the southeast yesterday when we anchored and then it switched to the northwest. So I'm really curious what our new anchor did. So I'm going to go dive on it and check it out and see what the new anchor looks like um, with this holding which is kind of a muddy sandy bottom. So let's go check it out. I came down on the anchor chain and quickly found the anchor. The nose had dug itself in, but the anchor itself was still exposed. I'm guessing it was because we didn't back up on it and set it as much as it could have. Now I know for next time. It was clear that the wind wasn't enough to actually have the anchor reset itself, but the chain kind of wrapped around and you could see the pattern in the mud. Diving on the anchor the last couple of months has given me a much better understanding of our ground tackle and what's involved in making sure that we have a good sleep at night. Thanks Mantis for your support and I can't wait to keep using our new anchor over the next few years.